Hi friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. Thanks so much for joining me. I wanted to show you how I'm going to draw or model in Chief Architect this, uh, this corner fireplace. It's kind of unique, uh, kind of uh, tricky, a few, few little tricks. I think it'll be a good tip for you today. Let's get started. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, thanks for commenting, I love the interaction. If you learn information from this that's useful for you and educational, would you consider giving back to support the ongoing education that you get here uh, on my channel? You can support me over on patreon.com slash design build solutions for as little as $2 a month or $5 a month, all the way up to $50 a month, depending on what you need uh, to get back from me. Thanks for your consideration. Thanks for your support. Let's get started into today's tip. So I've got the um, walls drawn. Let's delete. Let's actually just move this over here. Got the walls drawn and the uh, material of stone placed on the walls themselves. Uh, so I need to carve out somehow a corner piece that looks like this around here, like so. All right, um, so let's do that. Let's go back to plan view. What I'm going to do, what I started off doing was a pass through window to see if that would do it for me. I'm going to do a shift F6 to tile these windows. And unfortunately, it, it leaves the um, frame in there too. Let's see what I can do. Let's turn off casing. Let's turn off the sill. Let's turn off the frame. And there you have a corner window. Let's set the height of this. I think I set about 38 inches and 20 inches off. No, it was uh, according to the 10 and a half inches off the floor. So we'll just say 12 and OK. So basically, uh, a pass through window put it up onto each corner. I've, let's go back through this again. Casing, I turned off the casing. I turned off the sill and I turned off the frame. Next, what I would have to do is to create the, the fire brick back there. And on the on the hearth, so on the hearth, I could create a slab. This was 56 inches, so let's do that right. Uh, so let's create a slab. That's going to be 12 inches at the top, thick, let's say four. Let's say from the floor, not from the finished floor. There we go. Let's go back to this picture. Okay, that, that hearth there really goes over. Okay, so let's let's make this slab at let's say 13 because our hearth will cover this stone right here on the end. And lastly I'm going to create a slab right here. Yeah. 
and that will be uh, 40 inches tall and this will be 12 I'm just putting something there that will be our um, material all right materials masonry do this light brick like that I'm gonna paint the back of this wall paint this slab and this slab Lastly, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this um, chainmail screen. I could drop in chain link fence and make it. Um, so let's let's just do that. Pull that up there. From floor. Bottom from floor is 12. Height will be 38. And then I'm just going to squish it together like that. Width 16, just so it's an even number that I can easily remember. All right, there's the fireplace. Last thing I really need to do is put this hearth around here. That's two inches thick. And I'll do that with a 
polyline slab. And there's kind of the look. For this case, that will do just fine. Again, we started off, I started off with a pass through window. You can start off with a fixed glass window and remove, um, you know, make the sash size zero, um, remove casing, remove um, sill, remove uh, frame and bump the two into the corner and the chief will make this corner open. Uh, then I just added all the accoutrements of the uh, chain, the uh, fire brick, the fire and the logs and the hearth, etc. And there we go. I hope you've learned something from this uh, from this tip uh, today. Uh, if, you've, if you like this information and wanted to keep it going, I would appreciate, again, the encouragement of support over at patreon.com slash designbuildsolutions. As always, hit that like button down there. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell, too, so that each week that I release a video, you'll get notified. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful week. Take care.